Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Total Brawl Hammer. Today I'll be bringing you the second match in Shadow Online Games uh, YouTuber tournament. So today I'll be fighting uh, Loremaster of Sotek, and their channels will be linked in the description. And I have the Wood Elves against his Lizard. Alright, so you see I got paused here because the action is going to get started right away. So as for my army, as you can see, I've got some Glade Riders and Glade Riders with Hagbane tips here. Going up against some Chameleon King, so I'm going to be pulling them back immediately, but we do get some good damage in there, I gotta say. I've also got two Wild Riders, two Way Watchers, a Glady on a horse here, and a Branch Wraith with Earthblood and the Penumbral Pendulum. Y'all know I love that spell. Some War Dancers in the front and a front line of both Eternal Guard with Shields and Eternal Guard, as well as one group of Tree King. Alright, so for Sotek over here, who is chasing off my Glade Riders with Hagbane tips, looks like we got two Chameleon Skinks, a front line of Source Warriors with Shield, and Source Warrior with uh, Spears. Looks like he's got three of each, so I really like that. He's also got two Skink Cohort with Javelins, also a really good pick. A Bastildon with Revivification Crystal, a Slage Mage Priest of High Magic, who's got... Looks like Arcane Unforging, Tempest, and... Uh, Apotheosis, of course. And also a Feral Basildon, which is an interesting choice considering the front line of the Wood Elves here is usually going to have a lot of armor piercing AP, uh, anti large that is. He's also got a Skink Chief on foot here, as well as a Source Scar Veteran. So I'm gonna just gonna start the first skirmishing phase, and uh, this is kind of how you have to play the uh, Wood Elves against the Lizardmen here, because the uh, Lizardmen actually. Their infantry just thrash uh, the lightly armored infantry of the Wood Elves over here. So as you can see, I'm coming in here for some charges. I'm actually putting these guys in melee too. We're going to be getting charges all over the place. So let's go and try to hit those guys. going to get a free hit on these uh, Source Warrior here. I say it's a free hit, but we're actually going to take a ton of damage here uh, because of these King Kill and Javelin. As you can see, I get another shot into the Source Warrior. What's this right here? looks like a Blood Statuette of Spite. And as you can see, these two Wade Watchers start shooting out this uh, Basildon with Revivification Crystal. Gonna pop a Prayeth Anth Brahma on them. And that thing is so dead. So I got, uh, these guys took a lot more damage on the charge, and actually so did these guys, so maybe it wasn't a great idea. I'm gonna charge into these Swords Voice and Spears as they are not braced, get some really good damage on them. The uh, Basildon with the Revivification Crystal is actually really, is uh, shattered. And as you can see over here, his Scar Vets coming in here, and I am just surprised how much damage my Wild Riders took on the charge. I mean, we dealt just as much damage back, but uh, they took more damage than I was expecting. So now that we got some of his healing off the field, I'm going to be pulling back my Way Watchers here and just doing some more skirmishing with these guys as they took a lot of damage. And I'm just going to be getting some free charges over here. Like, well, not really free. I'm taking, I'm taking good damage, and these guys are poisoning me and slowing me down and making sure I take even more damage. So over here, I'm just going to be pulling out with both my Wild Riders, as well as my Lord, and pulling back with my Way Watchers here, who are being chased by some Chameleon Skinks, with a good play, which is a good play on, uh, on Sotek's part. So I'm going to be pulling these guys back here, and as you can see, I got my army kind of more in the back here, so not close enough to the white line to uh, be a bitch. I don't know, I'm kind of close over here. But uh, he's got plenty of room to maneuver, and I'm definitely not going to block that off. So maybe, maybe a little bit, a little bit. So he's got Scarvet over here, and uh, look what he does here. Fuck you, Gojira. I'm trying to make a cast here, stopping my slow-mo. Alright, so this guy pops his leadership debuff, foe seeker, potion of health, and deadly onset. Look how much he did, 33% of health in like one hit. So uh, that's a pretty good play on his part. So to make sure I can get away from him, I'm just going to go ahead and charge in on him, just to make sure that uh, she's going to be 100% safe. As you can see, I'm leading part of this army off over here and uh, that's going to be pretty good for me and I'm just going to keep on drawing these guys away. So I got and went ahead and charged into the Source Warrior. I'm going to go ahead and pull out here. going to see if I can get a charge into these Chameleon Kings, but I decide not to. And I am just keep on, I'm just going to keep on pulling back my Way Watchers and he has done a lot of good damage with those Chameleon Kings. So I finally decided to open up here because uh, I want to really get this Source Scar Veteran down because I'm really scared of him. At this point, I'm not feeling great about my chances just because of uh, how much infantry is left. So I'm going to get a good charge here and look at all that damage. Nice spray of Anthrama here, and he is just melting. Wow. Alright, so I had these Ward Answers up here, 
uh, in case he had anything fast in front there. But man, look, that blood statuette, a spite, is doing crazy damage to my wild riders. I do get earth blood on him at the very least. So as you can see, I do a ton of damage to Source uh, Scarvet over here. And I see that he has these Chameleon Skinks uh, just zoning out these guys. And I'm like, what am I doing? So I'm just going to charge into melee and finish these guys off. So it's finally time to uh, actually get into melee combat here. I'm going to go ahead and get a charge through the front line. This is also going to take away the charge bonus of these SARS Warriors with Spears since I'm going to follow up right with my infantry charge. So they're not going to get their charge and we are. So that's pretty good here. As you can see, I'm going to slow down here because a lot is happening. Charging in with some Eternal Guard with shields all over the place. My Waywatchers are still in guard mode because I'm... Uh, sorry, not guard mode, but, uh, what's it called? Ooh. Oh, look at that. So I got a nice Penundral Pendulum over here. And Penundral Pendulum can be pretty good against the Saurus Warriors. Because as you can see, they only have 60 armor, and that's not the most. But uh, as you can see, uh, really good damage on that right there. So, uh, fire at will, as well as talking about the way watch. It's still off. Uh, now that we've got kind of a moment to fire here, I'm going to put some good shots into his Slon Mage Priest of High Magic. And his Slon Mage Priest of High Magic actually has, let me see how much missile defense. 40 missile resistance, so that's not bad. As you can see over here, we finished off these Chameleon Skinks, and now it's going to be time to run some cycle charging over here. Uh, admittedly, I left my Wild Riders engaged with his front line too long, and they took some major damage. But, uh, so Tech's going to do the smart thing and start moving these Skinks in through here to try to get on my Way Watchers, because they are still very high value target. And he has this Source Scarvet in the back, and he's been healing him with Apotheosis. So over here, I'm going to uh, see that he's throwing down some magic, so I'm going to try to dodge that. And eh, not a great dodge. I'm going to run a rear charge on the Source over here and move my War Dancers in around behind him. As you see, we're doing a lot of damage in here. And uh, he's going to run in with these Chameleon Skinks, not Chameleon Skinks, but the Skink Cohort with Javelin and drop a Blood Statue of Spite here. <laughs> a lot's happening again. He's pulling around with these Skinks, which is a great idea, and they're very fast, and they will be able to uh, catch my Waywatchers if I don't do something. So, as you can see, I'm moving my Branch Wraith to intercept, actually. So I keep on running Cycle Charges over here. I'm getting my Wild Riders around the side, and we've just kind of crumpled this flank with those rear charges and absolutely broken them apart. So at this point it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty scared about this, but I'm going to pull these tree kin over here to uh, try to stop them. I'm going to get these Eternal Guard into these Clean Sinks any second now. And uh, I'm just going to send my War Dance with Azurite Spirit into this Feral that's still done. Have these really weakened Wild Riders make sure these guys are off the map. And uh, now I'm going to pop up Praetheth and Thrama on his Lord and have my Way Watchers focus them down. So, man, Way Watchers are nasty. I... <laughs> Any tournament that allows you to bring more than two of them is a tournament that I wouldn't want to play in. And actually, you can bring more two, than two of them in this tournament, which I think is a mistake. So he's finally bringing his Scars, his Source Scarvet back in here. But honestly, we've done a lot of damage to his uh, army here. And we're getting some really good fire with, some, with the Way Watchers, which I have wisely saved ammo on for only his high-value targets. And that's how you gotta, that's how you got to use Way Watchers. You can't use them on uh, targets you, that you won't get good effectiveness off of. So as you can see, he's popping his leadership debuff, and he's trying to maybe go after my lord here. So I'm not sure what he's doing here, but uh, I'm going to keep on running cycle charges. And I'm kind of scared at this point, because honestly, uh, if we don't break his leadership, then I wouldn't be surprised if these source warriors can break through my entire army. I'm going to pop another little pendulum after dropping a charge right here. Going to get out of there just in time, and that's going to send one of them into rampage. The other one is uh, broken. And we're getting him out of here. So the Source Scarvet tried to get into my Way Watchers, but man, Way Watchers are OP as fuck. And as you can see, the Lizardman army is going to shatter at that point. So a very good game to Sotek, Blue Master of Sotek here. It was a very interesting one. And uh, I don't play the Kaidi build of the Wood Elves too much, but I feel like in a melee brawl, the, uh, the Lizardman have such a huge advantage over the Wood Elves, so feel like that is what I was going to have to do in this tournament setting. But, uh, you know, you can definitely go worse with, like, four Weight Watchers. So, I feel like I, I didn't go uh, too cancerous. I'm not going to go cancerous, too cancerous, even if uh, two Weight Watchers isn't cancerous. I think that's the max you should be allowed to bring, but I don't think, I also don't think it's cancerous. But, uh, yeah, so let's look at the breakdown here. Waylord with those Praetheth Anthramas and the Weight Watchers. They only got a few kills, but the kills that they got were very, very important. So they got a, their Lord, uh, they got the Scarvet, they got uh, the Revivification Crystal, all worth it. 
Got some really good damage in with my Wild Riders. Didn't use them the best. I took more damage than I wanted. And I should have had some more Earth Bloods on them. So I should have had my Branch Wraith up a little bit further. Also did some really good damage with the Glade Riders. With Hagway Tips. With their uh, Charging. Again on them I got a, too, uh, a little bit too overzealous with my Charging. And sending them into melee combat. But those Cycle Chargers that they started throwing down near the end of the game. Into the rear of the Lizardman forces were crucial. Over here, the Branch Wraith got some really good Penundal Pendulums and did some good damage. And the uh, Eternal Guard and Eternal Guard of Shield just held the line, I gotta say. Same thing with the War Dancers, and of course, those Wave Watchers, amazing. And the Treekin did really good as well. As far as Sotex Army, he is Slan Mage Priest of High Magic, which I think is a pretty okay choice. Uh, the Tempest can definitely be very useful. I like the Skink Chief option. S Score Star Veteran is probably something I would skip. But uh, he wants some good single target DPS, and usually the Whittles don't have too many high value uh, single target DPS that this guy's going to be able to catch, that is, on his very slow, uh, what's it called, cold one. Uh, in the front here, uh, I probably would have gone regular source, to be quite honest, but I understand why he went with the Spears, because you can't expect the cycle charging of the Wild Riders, but I feel like the Source Warriors have such damage that, uh, I don't know, I'd they're just, I think they're just better all around. Uh, I also like the choices of the skink cohorts with javelins. The poison really did slow down my wild riders and allow him to get more damage on them. And the queen skinks did pretty good at hitting up these way watchers too. Uh, as far as the feral bastildon, I'm kind of confused on that choice. But uh, I understand the bastildon with revivification crystal. I went ahead and concentrated it first because I wanted to get his healing out the field. Because the healing of the glitchman is very strong. But guys, a uh, good game to Lore Master of Sotek, and that's going to be all for this one, guys. This is John Todd for Tobro Hammer, signing out.